Hello, welcome to another no code tutorial. Hope you're doing alright. Sure, you're doing great. Today, I'm going to be introducing you to a new no code builder that is so cool. It is so awesome, so beautiful. If you've if you've been following my channel previously, you will see I really talk about Adalo Glide, but this time I'm telling you about Flutterflow. Flutterflow is a very very awesome awesome no code tool that enables you to build mobile apps, web apps. For both iOS and Android, using the um, using Flutter. Flutter is a programming language. It's a very cool programming language that you can use to build for multiple platforms at the same time. That's one thing that's special about Flutterflow. As we go, and I'm definitely going to tell you a whole lot more. I mean, some of the things you like and some of the things you wouldn't like when you when you're using Flutterflow. And also, do well to subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be showing you. I'm going to be taking you from the basics of Flutter, um, getting started with Flutterflow to the, the, I mean, building very, very complex application with Flutterflow. So let's go. Um, as you can see, all you have to do to get started with Flutterflow is to go to flutterflow.io. Yeah, that's all you have to do to get started. And if you look at the interface, this is the way the interface look like. You can simply drag and drop like any other no-code tool. Yeah, you can drag and drop like any other no-code tool. But one thing that is beautiful about Flutterflow is that you have a lot of customization. The customization is breathtaking. You can customize like you're building, like you're a pro developer. Yeah, that's one thing I love about Flutterflow. You can really customize everything. Everything from padding, gradient, everything. You can customize everything and it looks like something that a, 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 a full stack dev with 10 years of, of, of experience built. That's something that's so beautiful about Flutterflow. And, and if, if, you, if you go down here, you'll see one of the advantages of using Flutterflow is its easy data and API integration. You can easily integrate Flutterflow very well. It, has, it, it, comes with, it comes with APIs, API integration. You can integrate any type of API from payment to um, anything, anything you're building. As long as that API exists, you can automate everything with Flutterflow. Yeah, like I said before, you can customize everything. And another beautiful thing that, that you see with Flutterflow is that it has actions. And actions are, are just so easy to get started with. It's a true or false something. True or false something. True or false something. If, if a user does this, I want you to do this. If the user does not do this, I want you to do this. It just gives you a very, very visual way to map out your entire actions in your uh, mobile application. And that's called the Visual Action Builder. And this is the most exciting thing. Yeah, this is the most exciting thing. You can export your code. You see, you can export your code. For those persons who have been saying, hey, um, other, other no-code tools, they're not allowing me to export, export my code. Uh, what if I want to export my code? What if I want to keep my data? Uh, what do I do with this? Flutterflow is the answer. With Flutterflow, you can export your code and just... Um, you can export your code and do whatever you want to do with it. You can, in fact, you can run Flutterflow on your local uh, IDE. So if you're a developer, you're a full stack dev, you're very good with Flutter, you can run Flutterflow on your local IDE and still get the same result. So what I'm saying is that you can run your app locally, 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 and just deploy it. That's, that's something you can do with Flutterflow. Yeah, it has tons of reviews, definitely. But another thing that I'm going to be showing you is Flutterflow's database. But before we come to that, I should to tell you that Flutterflow has a very, very good documentation. So, I mean, if you don't want to, you don't want to go through the hassle of watching tons of YouTube videos, uh, uh, you know, tons of YouTube videos to get started with Flutterflow, you can really just go right here and just go to docs.flutterflow.io and read out its documentation. It will show you how to do everything from layout to, you know, everything, everything. It just shows you how to do everything in, on, on Flutterflow. Yeah, it shows you how to do almost virtually everything. So you can come here, stay with the documentation, and just keep reading. But one of the disadvantages of Flutterflow as a no-code beginner is that the learning curve, it's, it has a steep learning curve. You would have to learn and learn and learn and learn. Unlike tools like Adalo, yeah, I like tools like Adalo where it's just so straightforward. You can get started within 10 minutes. Flutterflow, yeah, there's a couple of things that you have to learn a lot because it uses a NoSQL database. It doesn't use relational database like uh, Adalo, like Bubble, and the rest. Uh, Flutterflow uses a NoSQL database, which is quite different from the conventional way you represent data in your application. 
So signing up is pretty straightforward. Uh, you click on the get started for free. Yeah, it gives you a free package. Just click on get started for free and it takes you to the dashboard where you can add your project. So you can say you like dark mode or you like, you like it light. So I like it like this. I like it bright. And uh, you just go ahead and create a new project. You can create a new project and, you know, just call it, call it. So we can just say test, test project. You can call it test project and go ahead and say create. That's all. Go ahead and say create and it takes a little while to, uh, to load and put everything together. Then you can see all this um, tutorials that it gives you to get started with your project. So I'm gonna be, now first tutorial, we're definitely going to be reviewing the Flutterflow dashboard, but it's something I wanna point out to you, why Flutterflow is super cool, is that it is database. Right here, it is database. Flutterflow uses the Firebase, uses Firebase as its database. Yeah, that's something I wanna show you. It uses Firebase and everything can be updated real time. So you can you can spot you can see what your users are doing on your application real time via your Firebase via Firebase. So all your data, nothing is stored on Flutterflow. Everything is just syncing with with Firebase, syncing with Firebase. So you can do anything you want with that data with third party tools, and you can decide to you can do anything you want to do with it here. And you know, Fire, 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 Firebase is very 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 scalable. That's one thing that Flutterflow brings your application. For those persons who have been saying, hey, I'm not sure if I, uh, uh, no code is scalable, I mean, Flutterflow is just the answer for you. Firebase, it's very, very, very scalable. And even though you have to pay some money outside your Flutterflow charges, which is cool, but it's very, very scalable. You can say, hey, I need like 10 million records, 200 million records. I want to do stuff like online streaming. I want to do stuff like geolocation, you know, real-time map updates. Flutterflow, Firebase can help you do that. Can help you do that. Man, just you know, keep sending and receiving data as fast as possible. Comes with a whole lot of stuff like uh, payments. You see, with Fl with uh, Flutterflow, you can easily easily integrate with Stripe, Braintree, Revenue Cut, and another thing is that you can easily deploy your stuff to go GitHub. You can deploy your stuff to GitHub. You can integrate a Go layer for your search. You can integrate Google Analytics, Google Map, AdMob. All these things are just brilliant. And you know what's more? You can design multi-language application with, Fire, with Flutterflow from the get-go. I know you're just saying this, like you're just saying colors, light mode. You know, these are amazing things that we're going to be exploring as we go as we go in uh, Flutterflow. I'm just gonna sum these up by saying that Flutterflow is cool. It's very brilliant. It's uh, it's an amazing tool that I think you should explore. It's an amazing tool that you should explore, and I'm pretty sure that you're going to find it very useful. So um, as we go, do come back to this channel and check out my first tutorial on getting started with Flutterflow because we're going to be reviewing the Flutterflow dashboard, and from there we just go, to go we just keep going, keep going, keep going, setting up our Flutter Flutterflow application. So that's it for me. That's the introduction to this new tool. I just started, I just wanted you to see it, see what it can do, and see how slick it is and uh, how beautiful you can, how easy you can get started with Flutterflow, yeah? Uh, I think one thing I didn't touch is the pricing plan. So I'm, I'm in Nigeria right now and Flutterflow gives me $12 per month because they have this regional pricing plan, yeah? They have this regional pricing plan, which is super cool. Normally they're supposed to charge me 30 per month, but based on, I'm in Africa, they just charge me $12 a month. And so this is very good for Africans who are looking forward to building an application. $12 a month is super affordable compared to other tools that could charge you $50 a month, $80 a month, $124 a month just to use their platform. So I think it's cool. The pricing plan for me is a no-brainer. It's just super, super, super cool. And uh, they're giving this discount so that Flutterflow can be accessible to everyone. So there's no better time as an African or as a an Asian or anybody around the world. There's no better time to put your app to launch that dream project of yours than uh, you know just launching it with Flutterflow. So um, thank you for stopping by and thank you for just following this review. I'll do well too. Um, do want to leave your comment and your concerns about Flutterflow. And if you have questions, I'll do well to answer you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and. Uh, 
so you can see other videos that I'll be other videos on Flutter Flow that I'll be launching in no time. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your work week.